Today we have a yoga practice for runners, cyclists, walkers or anyone looking for a lower body stretch. Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Tracy. I'm Tracy. We can begin kneeling. You may wish to place a folded blanket under your knees if there's any discomfort. Slowly fold forward, bringing your chest to your thighs and your forehead to the mat. Arms out in front or forehead resting on your hands or placing your arms at your sides. Child's pose is a lovely way to start the practice. It gently stretches the spine and the ankles, calms the mind and can also help relieve stress and fatigue. Begin to focus on your breath, a slow, deep, even breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Slowly coming out of the posture, use your hands to push the floor away from you. Moving into a toe squat from a kneeling position, tuck your toes under and try and sit on the balls of your feet. Reach down and tuck the little toes under. This is quite a challenging pose, so you may wish to place a cushion in between the calves and the thighs. Also, you can kneel up, relieving the pressure, and when you feel you can handle this again, sit back down. Toe squat opens up the bottom of your feet while strengthening the ankles. Come out slowly by leaning on your hands. Lift your hips forward and release your feet. Tap the tops of your feet on the floor a few times. Knees close together. Separate your feet about hip distance. Top of your feet down as you slowly lower your hips back. To avoid discomfort, you can raise the hips by sitting on a block or cushion. And over time, you can start to bring your seat closer to the mat. Draw your navel in and up. Ground through your sitting bones, extend through the crown of your head. Breathing softly in and out through the nose. Running can tighten up the tendons and ligaments on the front of our ankles, shin and feet. Hero pose can help counteract that tightening. It stretches the ankles, tops the feet, knees and legs. It was also a great stretch for the quadriceps. Slowly coming out of hero pose, coming onto hands and knees. Wrists underneath the shoulders, fingertips nice and wide, knees right underneath the hips. On an inhale, drop the belly towards the mat. Lift your chin and chest, looking forwards. And exhale, draw your belly to your spine, rounding your back towards the ceiling. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale as you round the back towards the ceiling. Sinking breath with movement, three more times. Make sure you don't collapse into your shoulders. Cow posture can increase flexibility to the spine and stretches the back, torso and neck. Coming 
it back into tabletop neutral spine. Walk your hands just in front of your shoulders. Inhale in, tuck your toes under. Exhale in, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Keep both knees bent. Begin to straighten your right leg, bringing the heel down towards the mat. Enjoy that stretch in the calf and hamstring. Bend in the right knee, straighten the left leg, bringing the left heel down towards the mat. Keep the head relaxed between your arms, directing your gaze through your legs. Begin to straighten your right leg as you push both heels towards the mat. Really enjoy that stretch. Downward dog gives you an all over body stretch. Raising your head, step forwards into a forward fold. Stand with your feet hip width apart, knees bent. Fold forward and clasp your elbows with opposite hands. Softly sway side to side. You want to feel the sensation along the spine all the way down to the neck and maybe a gentle stretch in the hamstrings. Releasing the hands to the floor, slowly rolling up into Tadasana. Mountain Pose. Moving into Malasana, also known as the Yogi Squat. Separate your feet to about shoulder width or to the sides of your mat. Squat down with your arms in front of you for counterbalance. Knees tracking in the same direction as your toes. When you're all the way down, place your hands in a prayer position, applying gentle pressure from your elbows into the knees to solidify and ground the pose. This can be quite difficult due to tightness in the hips, knees and ankles. If your heels don't touch the floor, you can support them with a folded blanket or blocks. You can also widen the distance between the feet. Yogi squats can increase hip mobility while strengthening the ankles and can also offer relief to the lower back. back down to the mat for counterbalance and stretching up into Uttanasana standing forward fold. Feet about hip width apart. Exhaling step your right foot back into a low lunge, lower your right knee and turn the top of the foot to the floor. Keep the left knee directly stacked above your ankle. Inhale as you start to rise up you can place your hands just above your knee or to deepen the stretch raise the arms up above your head in line with your ears. Exhale to push your hips close towards the floor. Draw your tailbone down towards the floor and lift your pubic bone towards your navel. To help avoid sinking into the joint, hug your inner thighs in towards each other. Exhale as you lower the hands to the floor, either side of the front foot. Taking the hips back, coming up onto the left heel and extending your toes back towards you. Right knee under right hip. Begin to straighten your left leg as much as comfortable, keeping your hips square, inhaling, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, begin to fold over your left leg. Runner's stretch, also known as half splits, stretches the lower back, hips and legs, and can also improve motion of the hips. Inhale, as you roll through your left foot, cut back into your lunge, lift your knee, Rock back and forth and step forwards into Uttanasana forward fold. Moving into half standing forward bend, root down through the feet as you engage your legs, drawing your belly in, hands can rest on your shins or thighs, upper body almost parallel with the ground. Exhale back to forward fold, stepping the left foot back into low lunge, lowering the left knee, turn the top of your left foot to the floor. Inhaling as you place your hands just above your knee or raising both arms above your head in line with your ears. Exhaling as you push your hips closer towards the floor. Right heel under right knee. Stretching the thigh, groin and opening the chest. Lowering the hands back down to the floor. Drawing your hips back for the runner's stretch. 
coming up onto your right heel and extending your toes back towards you. Begin to straighten your right leg as much as comfortable. Keep your hips square. Inhale as you lengthen your spine and exhale, begin to fold over your right leg. Rolling through your right foot, come back into your low lunge. Lift your knee, rock back and forth and step forwards back into your forward fold. Root down through the feet into half standing forward bend. Upper body almost parallel with the ground. Can keep knees bent, lengthening the spine is your main focus here. Exhaling back down to forward fold, into plank. Shoulders over hands, ankles over toes. Forming one straight line, slowly begin to lower to the floor. Move it into locus for a gentle back bend. Or head or chin on the mat. Arms at your sides with palms facing up. Touch your big toes together and turn out your heels to the sides. Engaging your leg muscles, inhale as you slowly lift your head, chest and arms off the floor. To deepen the pose, lift your legs. Look slightly ahead. This posture could play a key role in strengthening the muscles of the back and neck, as well as the glutes, hamstrings and the back of your arms. Lowering back down to the mat. Placing your hands underneath your forehead. Rocking hips side to side. Just resting here for a moment. Rolling onto our backs, next set of postures are designed to work on our IT bands. If you experience tightness, it can lead to IT band syndrome, which can cause pain along the outside of your thighs, hips and knees, which can be common among runners, cyclists and walkers. Both knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Straighten your right leg up. Interlace the hands behind the hamstring or calf. It's okay to keep the leg bent. Flex the foot and reach the heel up. Supine hamstring stretch is a great one to help with tight hamstrings, which can reduce the mobility in the pelvis, putting additional pressure on the lower back. Moving into supine pigeon, begin to lower your right leg, placing your right ankle just above your left knee. Inhale to thread your right arm through your leg and interlace your hands behind your left thigh or on your shin. Feet flex, exhale as you bring the knees towards the chest, resting the head on the mat. This is a really great hip opener, also lengths hip flexors, which is your group of muscles near the top of your thighs. Throwing the left foot to the mat, keep the figure four position as you drop your knees over to the left, right foot flat on the ground. Reach the right arm straight up above the head, left hand softly pushing the right knee away to stop it falling in. This is called recline pigeon with a twist and a reach, so we're working on the IT band and the right hip. Inhaling, bring the knees back to centre, bend both knees, feet flat on the floor. Repeating all three on the other side, start with supine hamstring stretch, straighten the left leg up, interlace hands behind the leg, slowly pull the leg towards the chest, flexing the foot and reaching the heel up.
Slowly begin to lower the left leg, placing the left ankle just above the right knee. Inhale in to thread your left arm through your leg and interlace your hands behind your right thigh or on your shin. Exhaling as you bring the knees towards the chest, resting the head on the mat. Lower the right foot to the mat. Keep in the figure four position. Drop your knees over to the right. Left foot flat on the ground. Reaching the left arm straight up above the head. Right hand softly pushing the left knee away to stop it falling in. Inhale as you draw your knees back to centre, keep the knees bent, feet flat on the floor, hug your knees into your chest, releasing the lower back, rest here for a moment. Lifting your feet back down to the mat, lengthen the legs out, Lying in supine position. Finishing today in Shafasana, bring your feet about hip width apart, knit your feet four out to the sides. Bring your arms alongside the body, slightly away from the torso, turning palms face upwards, letting the fingers softly curl in. Tuck your shoulder blades into your back for support and make any final adjustments so you're completely comfortable. Breathing naturally, close your eyes, relax your whole body, including your face, and let your body feel heavy. Begin to deepen your breath, wiggle your toes and then your fingers, slowly reawakening your body, stretch your arms overhead for a full body stretch from hands to feet. Slowly opening your eyes, bring your palms together in front of your heart space. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss when I upload a new video.